Hi, I'm Dirk Friel here in Boulder, Colorado with Yanni Brakovic of Team Astana. How long have you been racing and training with the power meter? Uh, for three or four years now. Okay, mm -hmm. with SRM? Yes. Okay, and uh, I kind of made a presumption, but I said race with the power meter. Is that pretty common for you to race with the, power, with the SRM? Uh, no, normally no, okay. but this year I decided to just uh, also race with power meter. Uh, it doesn't really change uh, my bike weight or something, it doesn't affect performance, so it's uh, just, uh, it's it's a lot of information you can get from from uh, racing with it. Right. So uh, I decided to do that. So then when you don't race with it, you, you manually enter a workout mm -hmm. and guess at the training yeah. stress score? Yeah. And then upload Something that to, like to that. training yeah. peaks to keep the chart going. Um, so for those that are thinking about getting a power meter, you know, even the, the base model just to get started, what what would be the primary reason someone would think about getting training? What would be the, the biggest benefit you think they could gain from incorporating power into their training? Mm, I think that with power meter you can do much more specific workouts. Uh, it doesn't give you false data like maybe with heart rate you can uh, sometimes you can get a higher heart rate and uh, actually when you do those short intervals uh, there's no really enough time to to uh, reach that uh, target heart rate so you don't really know what what you've been doing so uh, I think with with power meter you get every every hundreds of the second you get uh, accurate data so it's it's much more specific and accurate right so do you do targeted intervals um, targeting a wattage yes and heart rate yes I do nice on the desktop side with with WKO plus um, I imagine using the performance management chart mm -hmm. so how reliable do you find that do you do you does it help you guide your training, or do you use it mainly for review, or you know, get into a little more specifics on why you use performance management chart? Yeah, I think uh, once you get your uh, functional threshold power uh, right, it's amazingly accurate. Uh, you can see your training stress ba balance, uh, training stress score, uh, chronic load, acute load. It's just uh, so many information. So, with uh, specifically with the training stress balance, or do you find there's a, a nice range where you kind of find peak form, and, and you try to aim to hit your important events with a certain training stress balance? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, the best results I had uh, was when I was maybe just uh, a little above uh, above zero positive. Uh, maybe 10 points plus okay. was, uh, was, uh, was the best I, uh, I've had. Wow, that's great to hear. So then, you know, we, we can't see your performance management chart right now, but could you like describe what it might look like if you looked at an entire season? Uh, you know, your chronic training load, um, does it does it consistently go up throughout the year, or does it rise quickly uh, and then flatten? I think first couple or three months it goes up, 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 and then kind of stabilizes. Thanks Thank for spending time with us. Yeah.